Example three, using the sum and difference formulas. Example three, using the sum and difference formulas. So these problems can look kind of tricky, but they're actually uh, pretty simple because they just want us to match basically what we have here with the right side of a formula and change it into the left side. So to do that, we would realize here that this is U and V for our angles in one of our formulas. And then because sine and cosine, we have sine, cosine, and then cosine, sine, that matches up best with sine. And since it's sine, if this is a plus, then inside of our parentheses, we will have a plus. So we can rewrite this, which looks like the right side. We can actually rewrite it as the left side and get sine of 35 degrees. Uh, that's our answer. We don't have to, if we ended up with something that was on our unit circle, we could go ahead and figure out what that was. Um, but if we don't, then we just leave it as sine of 35. So let's try the next one. We have cosine, cosine, sine, sine. So that matches up with a cosine identity for the sum and difference. We've got u and v. So we would write this as cosine of pi over 3. And then since this is a plus and it's cosine, we do the opposite, which is minus. So pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Now to combine these so that we have just a single angle inside, we do have to come up with common denominators. And so our common denominator for 3 and 4, we would want to have a 12. So to get this to be 12 on bottom, for our first fraction, we've got to make that be 4 pi over 12. For this to be a 12 on bottom, we have to multiply by 3, so that's 3 pi over 12. We're subtracting, which means that we get cosine of 1 pi over 12, and that's our answer because we, we don't have that value uh, as on our unit circle. We just leave it alone. Now we would do for this last one, sine x, sine 2x minus cosine x, cosine 2x. Keep in mind, there'd be like parentheses here. Uh, if that makes it easier to think about, like we're saying sine of 2 times x, where 2 times x is our angle. That's going to come up a lot in the next section dealing with that. So, sorry, spoiler alert. All right, so if we look at our identities, the first thing that's wrong here is sine, sine, cosine, cosine. That is not an identity. Uh, in our identity, cosine comes first, and sine comes second. In the cosine identity, which is the one this is clo most, um, most closely related to. So we, if we rewrite this, we've got minus cosine x, cosine 2x, uh, plus sine x sine 2x, but it doesn't match our identity. Our identity needs to have the minus sign be in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out the negative. And, and we're back. So told you you'd be right back. I just said BRB. BRB. All right, so let's let's see here. What are we, we doing? We are doing some indifference formulas. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, right so, on. This is now the cosine. The cosine one. Right. And so because this is a minus sign, we're going to add plus. the angles. So that gives us three x inside. We don't really need that extra parentheses. This would just be negative cosine of 3x. That right. one was a bit on the tricky side right there. A slight skosh, but if you pay attention to what's going on, you'll you'll start catching some of these patterns. It's all about trying to find the right pattern in there. Right, right. 